Luan? Yeah, you were right. Only ruins left. Luan? Hey, Major Matt? Aiden here. Aiden, good to hear you, son. You said maybe you could help me out. I'd like to ask how. Not over the radio. Come to the ship. To the main HQ. I'll be there soon myself. All right. Disloyal beasts. Dogs are loyal. You seen a cat lately? Totally bad. No, they're smart. They're not. Before the
What do you want? Halt! Biomarker. Here. Report to Meyer in dispatch. The commander is on his way back from the field. Does Matt often go out on field missions? Used to be. He was hardly ever on the ship. Always in the field, always helping. That's why I joined the Peacekeepers. But lately, Matt's been acting weird. I'm not sure what that's about. It's been this way since before Old Villador and the Renegade attack there. Now this bullshit with the withdrawal, I, I don't get it. Whatever's going on, I hope he addresses the men soon. Helps us understand this bullshit withdrawal. Hmm, he's probably got his reasons. Whatever they are, innocent people are gonna get killed. But go see Meyer. Thanks. You can go. Juan would rather enjoy his cabin bar than take care of that. Addressing me as corporal. Hard as you work. You'll be promoted sooner than that. Strength for this after a day's work. Yes. Hey, where's dispatch? There. All right, men. We take care of the UV lamps and head back to base. It should be on point. Fast and easy. Go, go, go! They've already attacked two of our camps. Do everything we can to arm you. If needed, we'll intervene. If you could intervene, why'd you leave in the first place? This is bullshit. Wasn't your father some famous war hero? I bet he's rolling over in his grave. Watch your mouth, civilian. Things are tough all over. You know that. Make yourself
PK's got your back, Pilgrim. Want something from me? That is, kid. Corunda. It's a men. Now, it's hard as a senior engineer. <laughs> You. I remember you from the canteen. Yeah, I, I guess. From the fight in the canteen? Uh, maybe. Don't sweat it. You can really hold your own. I respect that. Aiden, right? Commander told me to brief you about faction matters. Missy welcomes you. Where is Matt? In the field. He came across a lead in Old Villador. You gotta wait. See that board? I got plenty that needs doing and not enough men. You wanna pick up some of our slack? We pay well. Medic, hurry! Fuck, that's Major Matt. Medic, Something's hurry. happened. Make room! The other way! He's bleeding out! Fuck. Oh Hater's in really bad shape. Take him to the infirmary! Don't Summon the medics! Going. We have to save him. Hang on, Ator. We won't let you go. You hear me? Get moving. 
Better hope Ader survives. We lost too many people in old Villador. Jack will do all he can to find out who did this. Until today, I thought our chances against Renegades were pretty good. But now, I'm not so sure. Juan would rather enjoy his capital than take care of that. Howdy, soldier. I hope Hitter survives. He's one of our most dedicated men. Aiden, don't just stand there. Come here. <laughs> know what this is? These brass knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Then, they passed on to Ator. What happened in Old Villador? It can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague, from the Butcher and his men. Whatever they're planning. Okay, but over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that, tell me, Aiden, what do you need this database for? What does it contain? I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, or... That's why I was looking for the GRE command center. To access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Meaning? Waltz. That's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up the trail of one of them, right before the Renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another. And another until you get the answers you're looking for. Why are the former GRE in hiding? They're afraid of the wrath of the people. People angry because the GRE spread the infection. So it's true. The GRE brought in the virus. Who else? They say they performed experiments in their bases. They brought in containers from Haran at night, in secret from the government. And then everything collapsed. In revenge, people captured the scientists and hanged them from lampposts. And killed the only people who had a chance of finding a cure. There is no cure and there never will be, Aiden. That's GRE propaganda. Fine. But what do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? 
The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center, on the VNC Tower Spire. What, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. Okay, I'm in. Good. The Butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> you all right, sir? Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me sir. To friends, I'm Jack. Okay. Jack. Until today, I thought our chances against Renegades were pretty good. Aiden, what do you want, son? These Renegades, it seems they're everywhere. Not for long. Once we get the transmitter on top of the VNC tower, the Butcher will have to retreat. I'm not sure it's going to be so simple, Jack. Simple? I heard you're doing a hell of a job clearing the city of rats. Do you think they might be looking for something in the center? I mean, they keep coming, but it's not like an organized attack. Of course it's not organized, because it's being led by a madman. If Williams is really crazy, why didn't he just flood the city with the toxic water instead of sending in random excursions? Crazy is as crazy does, Aiden. Given how easily he could do it, destroying the city isn't his goal. Not all at once, at least. By sending in bloodthirsty renegades, the Butcher's just creating chaos for its own sake. So the good people of the city become steeped in fear as he sits there in his high throne in white motherfucking gloves and listens to classical music. That sounds pretty fucked up to me. But we can counteract his terrorism with our campaign of enlightenment. That's why it's so vital to get the transmitter operating. So the people know the true enemy. Then, we can defend ourselves properly. Nothing. I think I know everything I need. Good luck then.
my pants. Well, hello, boys. Many fucked up stories while I was behind bars, I could be queen of the campfire by now. Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight. Could come in handy. Thanks. He said something about a plan? The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're going to light it up with UV lamps. Who was your father? A hero of some kind? Oh, this again? Since you're new here, I'll tell you the short version. Classic story. Saved a bunch of his fellow soldiers. Got a medal. Who was this? Long time ago. Back when people were only fighting each other and not each other and the infected at the same time. What was your father like? This isn't the time or place, kid. Right, uh, I'm sorry.
So is he why you joined the military? Pretty much. Oh, he must have been very proud. Sure. Why not? Interesting. Better get back to the plan though, right? Right. Okay. Let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first. See what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. You can go now. PK's got your back, Pilgrim. For Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on a schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Rayner is not here. I can take a message. No, I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Rayner's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? That's not going to be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. In the one? Aiden. Getting settled in the city? Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Uh, anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking around the fisheye. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribes the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I'll look for him there. Good luck finding him. And good luck if you do find him. Excuse me. Yes. What are you reading? Carnival of the Sad. Into bondage, are you? I'm afraid not. People trying to tie me down? Bad memories, no. No, of course you're not. But don't worry. Maybe you'll grow into it one day. Why don't Juan and Jack Matt, uh, like each other? Because Jack Matt wants everyone to be like Jack Matt. And I, for example, want everyone to be who they want to be. Maybe that's why Juan and I get along so well. After all, the world has ended, yes? The rules have changed. So I do what I want and don't ask anyone for permission anymore. Gotta go now. Au revoir.
heard about Rowe's withdrawal from the island. I hope Matt knows what he's doing. <coughs> Ader looks like a pile of ground beef. What did that to him? happening between renegades and PKs is called a stalemate. Mail has finally arrived. 